know, I, I didn't sleep last night at all, at all. Kept waking up, um, you know, and just getting ready for this day and just couldn't wait for this day to get here. You know, my biggest thing is, is, is now that you're in charge of everything, that everything just runs smoothly. And I, and I find myself going back to, you know, the defensive end and making sure that the defense is running to the ball and doing all that. But then I got to step back and, and make sure the specialists are doing the right thing. And, and that's, that's where it's kind of strange a little bit. I made Coach Burroughs give me a group during individual so I could sit there and coach him because I'm not a stand around guy and I probably never will be. The focus is to, to come out there and get better every day, you know, and focus on the fundamentals and technique of getting better. Because if we do the little things right, big things will happen for us. That's what they did, you know, last year. It wasn't anything special. They just, they just played good football. And that's what we got to continue to do is play good fundamental and technique football and good things will happen for us. We know the expectations are high right now, which is, which is a good thing. You know, someone asked me, is that a lot of pressure? Yeah, it's pressure, but it's pressure that I love. It shows me that you have a lot of passionate fans, which I love. So that pressure is, we invite that pressure. That's, that's the type of pro, now you know you have a program when you have the expectations every year to, to go to a bowl game and be successful. We're going to be about what we were last year. We're, we're not going to change, you know, that much. We're going to be 60-40, whatever that is, because I believe you need to be balanced. Whatever that is, run the pass or pass the run, it depends on what we're going to do, you know, the best. But we're, we're going to be about 60-40 and be balanced. You got to be able to run the ball, you know, on this level to be, be successful, and we know that. And our quarterback, you know, situation, the guy that does the things that we ask him to do, he doesn't have to win the game. He's got to maintain the offense. Uh, he can't turn the ball over. And that's all those guys got to do. And that's all we're asking them to do, not to go win games and make bad decisions. And they're being evaluated and we evaluate, we grade every day. Uh, we grade it every day in the winter. We grade it every day in the weight room. So all those guys know that they are competing. Everybody knows that they are competing for spots. And that's a, the beauty of having new coaches is that it all starts over for those guys. I mean, we know who the good players are, you know, and Dre and Trey and Luke and guys and, and Rosie and guys like that, but that we still got to challenge those guys to, to continue to get better. But everybody knows that it's a day to day. And I've told the, the quarterbacks, you know, I'm a defensive guy. I treat everybody the same. So just cause we name you the starter in week one, don't mean you're going to be the starter in week two. You guys are going to compete every week, just like everybody else competes every week. And the starter is going to be named that week. You know, hopefully somebody separates themselves, and that's what we're hoping that happens. But if that doesn't happen, it's going to be a week-to-week -week competition, and competition only makes you better. And that's, that's why those two guys probably graded out the best of the whole team this whole winter break, because they know if they slip, the next guy is going to separate from them. And um, that's the beauty of competition.